Enjoy Wow Loud! That was Counting Crows with Hanging Around. It is 3.08 Eagle Time. I am Specialist Ware, sitting in for Sergeant Johnson with the Afternoon Cafe. I'm in here. I'm having a good time. And you know, this Saturday is Valentine's Day, February 14th. And it got me to thinking back. You know, you remember back in the day when you used to have like your, your uh, school dances, your Valentine's Day dance. Well, I was thinking back to my eighth grade Valentine's Day dance and... uh it was, it was pretty embarrassing. So uh, coming up later in the show, uh, I'll share that experience with you. Also, I have your traffic and weather updates as, as well, I'm sorry, as your exchange rate. But right now, here's Shine Down with Second Chance right here on AFN The Eagle, where we're serving America's best. And now your AFN Stuttgart Radio News Update. I'm Petty Officer Rachel Melchor. Coming up, we have stories on additional money for troops and AFN Europe decoders. But first, let's take a look on why spending bill cuts may not affect most of the benefits for service members. Specialist Lorenzo Ware tells us more. Thanks to a massive omnibus spending bill set for a vote in Congress this week, base commissaries may dodge budget cuts next year. Senator Dick Durbin, who helped craft it, said the bill would pump $90 million back into the global system of supermarkets after lawmakers proposed trimming about $100 million from the commissary budget. The omnibus bill restored enough money to keep operations at current levels, according to Senate staff involved with creating the legislation. The bill ensures troops, families, and military retirees can continue to save what the commissary system says is an average of 30% on grocery bills by shopping at the 243 supermarkets on bases in the United States and abroad. In Stuttgart, I'm Specialist Lorenzo Ware, AFN News. That was Tristan Prettyman with My Oh My. It is 3.15 Eagle Time. I am Specialist Lorenzo Ware sitting in on the Afternoon Cafe for Sergeant Johnson. And right about now, it is time to take a look at our traffic and weather. Traffic-wise, from on the A8 going from Munich toward Karlsruhe, there is uh, traffic backed up between uh, Stuttgart Flugenhausen and Möhringen. It's three-kilometer style. Also from Karlsruhe going towards Stuttgart, between Forsheim Nord and Forsheim Oust, Forsheim East, of course, is a two-kilometer style. Uh, from Karlsruhe, also on the A8, from Karlsruhe going towards Stuttgart. Between Rutsheim and Dreich Leonberg, there is a five-kilometer style. Then on the A81, from ha- going from Heilbronn towards Stuttgart, between Zu- Zuvenhausen. Yeah, it doesn't say between what. It just says Stuttgart Zuvenhausen. There is an accident. So, once again... Be careful if you're headed in that direction. Uh, if you see something that we or that I don't report, you can always give us a call at 0711-819-7257 once you have reached your destination safely or using a hands-free device. Taking a look at the weather, of course, today is a very beautiful day. It is 46 degrees, sunny skies. Man, it's nice out. I can't wait to get out. Hopefully, there will still be a little bit of sun left when I leave. Probably not, but it's okay. Uh, Overnight low tonight of 30 degrees. Tomorrow it's going to be beautiful once again. Sunny skies with a high of 53. Saturday, partly cloudy. The sun may peak out a little bit with a high of 51. And Sunday, the same, partly cloudy with a high of 51. Your exchange rate. Let's take a look at that. One dollar will get you 86 euro cent. And one euro will get you one dollar and 16 cent. So, On the 27th of February, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., the Women, Infants, and Children program is putting on the WIC Overseas Stuttgart Kids in the Kitchen class. It is open to parents and children from ages 3 to 5. You can come and join us for fun, some storytelling, some prizes, and some hands-on cooking. So you can cook them babies something to eat. Yes, it's at the USO Kitchen, building 2115, the third floor of the Panzer Concern. You don't need to be a WIC participant um, to be involved, but the spaces are limited and it's a free event, so you need to call to reserve a spot. The number of uh, civilian line is 070 3115 3351, and the DSN line is 431 3351. So make sure you stay right there. Uh, coming up, we got more great music from Rixton. Almost hit that wrong. Right here on AFN The Eagle, where we're serving America's best. 
And now your AFN Stuttgart Radio News update. I'm Petty Officer Rachel Melchor. Coming up, we have stories on a boat mishap and dental clinic closures. But first, let's take a look on how a fleet of attack aircraft gets another chance to protect and serve. Specialist Lorenzo Ware tells us more. Pentagon officials said U.S. commanders continue to send A-10 Thunderbolt to attack aircraft in recent weeks to hit Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. The use of the A-10s followed the announcement last month by military officials that A-10s had deployed in mid-November to the Middle East in support of Operation Inherent Resolve against the ISIS. Officials said the A-10 Warthogs have conducted multiple strikes against ISIS in central and northwestern Iraq but have been restricted from flying missions in Syria. The A-10's presence in the campaign against ISIS sparked debate in Congress over Air Force and the Pentagon plans to retire the A-10 fleet. The recently passed National Defense Authorization Act included funding to extend the life of the A-10s for at least another year. In Stuttgart, I'm Specialist Lorenzo Wade. AFN News. Looking to challenge yourself this spring? Then grab a teammate, your bike, and a helmet for the second annual Team Biathlon on the 25th of April. There are only 25 spots available, so make sure to contact your Patch Fitness Center to register. Looking for a great way to lose those holiday pounds? Enter the Patch and Kelly Fitness Center Lose to Win Contest. This unique 16-week program will motivate you to keep losing weight, improve your physical fitness, and lead a healthier lifestyle. For more information, call 430-7136. That was Nick Jonas with Jealous. It is 327 Eagle Time. I am Specialist Ware sitting in for Sergeant Johnson on the Afternoon Cafe. And uh, yeah, this weekend, this Saturday, is Valentine's Day. As we all know, and uh, it got me thinking back to uh, my eighth grade Valentine's Day dance. And uh, wow, it's a very embarrassing moment. So check it out. I had this huge, huge crush on this young lady by the name of Stephanie Sims. Oh, wow. So eighth grade dance. Everybody's there. The DJ decides to slow it down, right? He plays Anita Baker, You're My Angel. So... Wow, here's my chance, right? So everybody starts to dance. The dance floor parts just like in the movie. She's standing there by herself. The spotlight from, from the sky just shines down on her. So, you know, I'm easing my way over slowly, trying to get myself together so I can ask her to dance, you know, kind of nervous. And I'm making my way, and right before I make that final step so I could reach out and ask her, out of nowhere, I didn't even see him. Out of nowhere, my best friend slid across the dance floor like James Brown just slid all the way across right in front of me and asked her to dance and she said yes left me standing there in the spotlight looking crazy yep yep but you know what we was kids you know it's all good I forgive you John you know you still my boy so anyway you know what I ain't gonna even lie I'm, I'm not forgiving you dog you supposed to be my boy and you played me you knew I liked Stephanie you kn- it's all good I ain't going to trip. So listen, if you like comedy, on the 5th of March at 6.30 p.m., you can come out to the Patch Community Club. They are having the four-day weekend comedy show. So if you need a break from your stressful week, come check out the four-day weekend comedy show. It's going to be some hilarious jokes, some improvisation. For more information, you can dial 4307111, the DSN line, the civilian line, 0711-680-7111. One one. So as I, you know, take a minute to get myself together, because you know that, that you know the memories that, that kind of got me a little 38 hot right there. But it's all good. Coming up after the break, we got great music from Tuvlo. Plus, I'm gonna hit you off with some more great music and your traffic and weather updates right here on AFN Eagle, where we're serving America's best. And now your AFN Stuttgart Radio News Update, I'm Petty Officer Rachel Melchor. Coming up, we have stories on Combat Awards and Base Education Center. But first, let's take a look on the new modification that may affect your contribution to your retirement savings. Specialist Lorenzo Ware tells us more. An upcoming change in my pay requires service members to designate Roth contributions as a percentage of pay, not a dollar amount. Non-compliance means that Roth contributions will not be processed by the Defense Finance and Accounting Service. This change affects Roth contributions only. The new requirement will take effect January 1st. Service members have 30 days to change the Roth election from a dollar amount to a percentage of pay. If the new Roth election is not received by January 31st, then DFAS cannot process the Roth contributions until they are updated. In Stuttgart, I'm Specialist Lorenzo Ware, AFN News. 
theory of a dead man out of my head. Specialist wear on the afternoon cafe. That about wraps it up for the three o'clock hour. More great music plus your traffic and weather updates coming up. Taking us into the news and sports. Here's Neil Young with Southern Man on AFN The Eagle serving America's best. Hey, Rick, what you doing? Hey, Bill, I'm just trying to figure out how to get some legal advice. Oh, don't fret, Rick. Stuttgart Citizen has you covered with Ask a Jack. Really? Just go to StuttgartCitizen.com and your questions will be answered. Thanks. Now, what questions should I ask? That's StuttgartCitizen.com. You female soldiers are golden for U.S. Army Ranger School. Specialist Lorenzo Ware tells us more. Five female soldiers have passed the pre-ranger course at Fort Benning, Georgia, making them the first women who will attend U.S. Army Ranger School this spring. The five females successfully completed the Ranger Training Assessment Course, or RTAC, January 30th, alongside 53 males at the Army National Guard's Warrior Training Center at Benning. The first integrated RTAC class began with 122 students, of which 26 of them were women. This historic pilot program and assessment comes amid increasing demand in recent years to open up all military specialties, including infantry, to women. Army leadership is open to the idea, but insists there will be no lowering of standards. In Stuttgart, I'm Specialist Lorenzo Ware, AFN News. That was Justin Timberlake with Rock Your Body. It is 5.15 Eagle Time. I am Specialist Lorenzo Ware alongside Sergeant Johnson, but he is going to kind of slide to the side here for a second. And in the studio with me, I have our Equal Opportunity Advisors, Chief Slade. Good evening. Hello, Hello Pretty good. I don't think. Hold on. Let's let's let us adjust your mics here for a second. We got you on. Say, okay. Talk to us. All right. Can you hear me out there? I think you're gonna have to move over to the other mic. Right, I can do that. Turn the board off right there. All right. How about that? All right. I'm there alive now. There we go. We got you. Hello, Hi. everybody. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> we know why I'm here, don't yes, we? Yes, yes, we do. Let's get into it. What's going down? All right. So, on February 26th, from 11:30 to 1 o'clock, we are celebrating African American um, Black History Month at Kelly Theater. Okay. What we got? It's going to be awesome. I heard. We had our one of our final uh, meetings today, okay. and I want you guys to. I am so. Okay, I want to say stoked, but I'm so excited. She geeked. I did. I went there. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, the theme this year is a century of black life, history, and culture. Okay. Um, you can't really cover a hundred years of African American contributions in an hour and a half. Not possible. Not possible. So, what we're doing is we've broken that century down into four 25-year segments. Nice. Okay. And our first 25-year segment is going to highlight theater and arts, African-American wow. contributions to the theater and arts. And so to help highlight that, uh -huh. we're going to have an excerpt from the Her Stories that's currently playing at Kelly Theater. Okay. They're going to come and do a five or seven minute segment from that play. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. That's um, be and nice. then this is my, can I do a shout out? Okay. I, I can't do a shout seconds. out, but if I quick. could do a shout out. I would say <laughs> I can't do it, but if I could, but if I could, I would say to all of the fraternities and sororities in the Stuttgart area, uh -huh. if you come out to the Black American African American History Program, uh -huh. we you get to represent. Uh oh, how? 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 So the second twenty-five year segment that we're doing, we're spotlighting. Contributions of fraternities and sororities. Okay, nice. Yes. Okay. So let's say we've got the Omegas in the audience for, wearing for their Omega gear. Okay. Right? And mm -hmm. then we're talking about the Omegas and what they contributed. Right? right. Contributed. Okay. And they do their you you know Omegas, you know how you do. Right. right? I don't know, but yeah, they and know. And then you got the alphas. Uh-huh. And then you got the AKA. Yeah, yeah. Q's right? and yeah, yeah. Represent. Okay. So, so what how so though? So all they have to do is just show up. That's it. That's it. Just show up. And show out. Show up and show out. There you do go. Do what they do. Do what you do. All right. So then after the um, fraternity sorority segment, we're going to feature music. Okay. Now, everyone knows how important music has been throughout the African American Indeed. culture. And still Very is today, right? Very instrumental. Yes. But we're going to be spotlighting gospel music. <sighs> Now that's beautiful. It's going to be a wonderful thing. Lord. So to help us with that mm. is the Stuttgart 
uh, choir, gospel choir. Really? It's going to come out and spotlight some gospel music for us. Wait, is um is Miss Teresa singing? Is she in the studio? Right Miss who? Miss Teresa Barnett? You know, I don't know, but I do know we have Miss Raquel Sargent singing our national anthem. Okay. And Go that girl. is the hey. voice of Stuttgart. Yeah. Military really? community. Okay. She can blow. So Y'all um, come on out and support it. Absolutely. And mm-hmm. we also have the Patch High School choir. Oh wow. Is going to sing two songs for us. We even got the cheering doing it. We got the cheerings, yes. Lord. So that's gonna be our music segment okay. segment. And then the last twenty five year segment we're doing is of course we're going to some kind of way you guys are going to be really impressed with this so i need you to come out and support is we're actually highlighting military african-american contributions to the military okay so we're going to show a short video and then we're going to have some special military presentations nice. not to be missed it sounds like it's not to be missed not to be missed that's so, awesome and this is all taking place when this is all taking place on thursday february 26th from 11 30 to one o'clock okay. at kelly theater kelly, kelly theater. barracks okay so you got the time you got the location make sure you show up and support we're gonna have some great things for you and uh i'm looking forward to it and on the next segment we're going to talk a little bit more about the food and food don't do that to me again so that's what's coming up so what i'm going to say is get your pencils and paper ready yes so you can take down the information the email address is particularly to send your essay to and the deadline yes stay focused we got yes so that's going to be in our next segment okay listen you guys you stay right here because we're going to take a short break get back into some music and after that we're going to talk to sergeant first class cantonia on more of our equal opportunity uh, events that are coming up for Black History Month and other things. So stay right here. We got more three great things coming up on AFN The Eagle, where we're serving America's best. Technology has come a long way, and ammunition firms do their best to be on edge. Specialist Lorenzo Ware tells us more. U.S. firms continue to reinvent the tactical shotgun, pushing its design limits well beyond traditional pump action and semi-auto models. Whether it's loaded with buckshot or slugs, the shotgun is still a valued tool in police work and military operation. But the shotgun has drawbacks such as limited ammo capacity and weight. However, new shotguns displayed at Las Vegas' SHOT Show looks promising. SMR Arms displayed its ammo capacity featuring detachable magazine, while Cry Precision LLC showed off a newer model which featured a titanium barrel to reduce weight. Cry's senior design engineer Eric Burt said a streamlined package is designed to mount under AR-style rifles and carbines and currently being tested in small numbers by some military units. In Stuttgart, I'm Specialist Lorenzo Ware, AFN News. The movie Black or White starring Kevin Costner and Octavia Spencer plays at Patch Theater January 30th at 2100. And that was your AFN Stuttgart Radio News Update. I'm Petty Officer Rachel Melchor. Thanks for listening. That was Neon Trees with Everybody Talks. It is 528 Eagle Time. I am Specialist where Sergeant Johnson stepped out, but in the studio with me, I have our Equal Opportunity Advisors, Chief Slade and Sergeant First Class Cantonilla. How y'all doing? All right, all right. So we got some more information for the people to give. Yes, we do. So you know, Sergeant Johnson always asks me, Chief, what kind of food we had? I, I really was trying to avoid asking that because, you know, come on. I know. Okay. See, I got to tell. I have to tell. You got to tell audience. the people. I got to tell I'm them, right? plug my ears up. So here I don't you need go. To and this is a confirmed menu. Okay. All right. We are definitely having fried chicken, mm. black eyed peas, collard greens, potato salad, macaroni and cheese, candied yams, deviled eggs, cornbread. Sweet tea oh. and it's Thanksgiving. Drum roll, please. Can, can I get a drum roll? All right. Barbecue ribs. Some ribs. That are going to be prepared fresh on the grill outside of Kelly Theater. Man. In time to be served right after the program. You wrong. What? You wrong. <laughs> you just wrong. So I wait. do what I can. So black eyed peas, greens. Yes. Mac and cheese. Yes. Deviled eggs. Yes. Fried chicken. Yes. Cornbread. Yes. Sweet tea. Yes. And ribs. Fresh ribs cooked right outside of what? Kelly Theater. You do in this time to me for every what? time you come in. You right after this. the Black History Program. Come on out. So, like I was saying, Earl, do you have some cots? Because you know that itis. Come on now. Well, here's the thing. Personally, I don't have a problem with anybody lining up Yeah. in advance. Okay. Just to make sure they can get their sampling plate. 
Mm. Not a problem at all. Mm. So, Y'all better come get it because you boys going to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> So while the audience is digesting that mm-hmm. and they got their pencils on the ready from the last segment, right. we're going to seg right into the African-American essay contest. Right. So last week we talked about writing a for high school, a high school students, excuse me, ninth through 12th grade, write a 400 to 500 word essay right. on their unsung hero. Okay. Sergeant Cantonese is going to come up right after me and provide the email address. The deadline for that essay will be midnight, February 22nd. Okay. So that's Monday at midnight. How many words again? 400 to 500 words. Okay. For high school high school students, ninth through 12th grade. Right. Okay. We're giving away three, ca- three cash prizes. See, I'm so excited. I know. One $500 cash prize, one $300, and one $200 cash prize. Y'all better get the writing. And that's in the high school category. So if we move, shift to the right a little bit and talk about the middle school category, Uh two to 300 words, unsung hero, right? right? Mm. First place, $500. Second place, $300. Third place, $200. So if I do my math in my head, that sounds like a total of $2,000 to me. Sounds good to me. Okay. Deadline for all essays, Monday night, February 22nd at midnight. Okay. All right. Sergeant Cantonia is going to come up and give you the, the um, email address. Sergeant First Class Cantonia, how hello, you doing? Hello, hello. Hey. Uh, so the email address is mark.c is in charlie.quintania.mil at mail.mil. Again, mark.c.quintania.mil at mail.mil. Okay. I'm just going to spell Quintania real quick. So it's mark, M A R K, dot C. As in Charles dot Quintanilla, Q U I N T A N I L L A dot mil at mail dot mil. There you go, folks. You got the information. So send your that and that email address was for the um, essay. For the essay, correct. Okay, so make sure you get it in on time. The deadline again is Monday, February twenty second at midnight. So you got this weekend. To, to sit down, write a nice essay, and you could win a prize. And you can also read the um, the, the hey, winners. See, I'm on it. You I'm on it, it y'all. He is. So the first place winners in the high school and middle school categories will get to read their essays during the program, the African-American Black History Program, on Thursday, February 26th. <clears throat> so we get that essay in by midnight the 22nd. We will be notifying the winners no later than five o'clock Tuesday. There you go. The next day, by 5 p.m. the next day, we will be notifying the winner so that they can prep and come out to the rehearsal. That'll be on Wednesday, and they can read their essay. So the top two winners, first place in high school and middle school, get to come on and read their essays at the program. This is big, y'all. So participate. You got the weekend. You got now. Start writing, and you can win money and a chance to read in front of your peers. So it's very good. Yes, yes, definitely. Also, I have a quick reminder. Okay. Uh, on the 22nd, on Sunday, there's going to be the, the the Butler showing at Patch Movie Theater, 1,700 uh-huh. hours. For adults, it's $4. For children, it is two twenty five. I heard Again, that that's, was a good movie. That's on uh, Sunday at Patch Movie Theater, 5 o'clock, the Butler. Adults, $4. Ch- children, two twenty five. And it's just that one showing? Correct. Correct. Okay, just that one show. So you guys make sure you come out this Sunday, check that out, get those essays in, and come out this Thursday, the twenty sixth, to the uh, African American History Program. You get some good food, some good entertainment, and you learn a, a lot about history. So it's a lot of good Definitely. things going on. I like to thank oh, you guys yeah. for coming by as always. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your drive at five. That's right. Coming up after the break, we got more music from Natalie Larosa right here on AFN the Eagle, where we're serving America's best. And now your AFN Stuttgart Radio News Update. I'm Petty Officer Rachel Melchor. Coming up, we have stories on self-help stores and movie showing. But first, let's hear why NATO commander says more arsenals to Ukraine won't cut it. Specialist Lorenzo Ware tells us more. The U.S. commander of NATO declined to predict Wednesday how Russian President Vladimir Putin would react to the U.S. sending weapons to Ukraine, but added that even with American weapons, Ukraine forces could not prevent a Russian invasion. Air Force General Philip Breedlove, who doubles as NATO's Supreme Allied Commander and the head of U.S. European Command, said it is clear that we do not know what Mr. Putin will do. 
He said the proposals being considered by the Obama administration to provide Ukraine with defense weapons could cause either positive or negative results. Breedlove added, what we do now is not changing the results on the ground. In Stuttgart, I'm Specialist Lorenzo Ware, AFN News. High-level leaders recently met at Ramstein to consider the future of the alliance's ground forces. Specialist Lorenzo Ware tells us more. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization LANCOM Corps Commanders Conference drew more than 140 participants from nearly every country in the 28-member alliance. This includes NATO Supreme Allied Commander Europe, Air Force General Philip Breedlove, together with the commander of NATO Allied Land Command Army Lieutenant General John Nicholson Jr. Both officials spoke of the broader security environment facing NATO post-Afghanistan and the challenges our ground forces must address to home response to international crisis at a moment's notice. Breedlove said he is pleased to say that NATO is adapting rapidly as its 21st century challenges are also evolving. In Stuttgart, I'm Specialist Lorenzo Ware, AFN News. As new budget plan is cooking, service members may look forward to a more creative household budgeting. Specialist Lorenzo Ware tells us more. A draft of 2016 budget proposal under consideration by the Department of Defense includes a series of changes which could raise the commissary grocery store prices, reduce store hours, and cut employees. Defense Department tasked the Defense Commissary Agency officials to come up with a $322 million cut to their current $1.4 billion operating budget. DECA says it will need to make a series of changes to how the agency operates its stores in order to find the $322 million in savings. The proposal states, failure to include several other legislative proposals will reduce the effectiveness of future commissary operations in 2016 and beyond. In Stuttgart, I'm Specialist Lorenzo Ware, AFN News. That was Lilywood with Prayer NC. It is 542 Eagle Time. I am Specialist Ware alongside Sergeant Johnson. The Drive at 5 Throwback Thursday Afternoon Cafe. We're getting it all in. Having a blast. We are, and, you know, we're almost out of here. Yes, so we are. I think it's, you know, that we owe the faithful six listeners. Faithful six. The final check of traffic, weather, and exchange rate. I think you're right. So let's take a look at the traffic. On the A8 from going from Stuttgart to Karlsruhe, there is a style from between Stuttgart, what is that, uh... Between Merrigan and Dreich Leenberg, there is a four kilometer style. And then on the A81 from Stuttgart to Singen, uh, between Cruz Stuttgart and Sinofingen, three kilometer style. And also from Singen go- going in the direction of Stuttgart, between is that Enningen and Berblingen, there is a four kilometer style. Or oh, actually, there's an accident that's causing four kilometers of style. So that's that's awesome. That's right where I have to go. So that's that's perfect. Yeah. You want to stay here for an extra hour? Do an extra hour? No, show? no, no I don't. Release the traffic. No, I'll find an alternate route. That's okay. How about a hot air balloon? Yeah. Or you know, I can just fly. No, I'm kidding. All right, y'all. You can fly out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you see something that we don't report. Or if you know of anything else, again, that we don't see, you can always call us here in the studio at 0711-819-7257. But please only do so after you have reached your destination safely and using a hands-free device. Looking at the weather, today we had a gorgeous day. It was a high of 43. Tonight's overnight low will be 31 degrees, so it's going to be a bit nippy. Tomorrow is going to be beautiful, bright, sunny skies with a high of 54. Saturday, going to have a 60% chance of showers with a high of 42. And Sunday is going to be partly cloudy, 20% chance of rain, and a high of 40 degrees. Our exchange rate, let me click on over. Yes, the exchange rate, one, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. One dollar gets you 85 euro cent, and one euro gets you one dollar and 17 cent. So our traffic, weather, and exchange rate have all been brought to you by... Your WIC overseas office here in Stuttgart, and they have a kids in the kitchen class coming up on the 27th next week from 10 a.m. until 11 o'clock. Now it offers ages for kids three to five and their parents, and they can join them for a fun morning of storytelling, prizes, and hands-on cooking. Now, like I said, the 27th of February, 10 to 11 at the USO Kitchen, building 2915 on the third floor over there on Panzer Concern. Now, you don't have to be a WIC 
participant, which is women, infants, and children, to attend, but the space is limited. Please call to reserve your spot. It's a free event, and if you want more info, here's the number, 431-3351 or civilian 0703115-3351. You know, I love free events. I really do. Mainly because they're free. F-R-E-E. The magic word. But I think that's a great opportunity for kids between three and five to go out and, and cook with their parents. Yes. And, and, you know, and that's something that they need to do. It helps its development. Some really? bonding time. You got maybe some future uh, chefs. chefs that's you know, right. Some future Gordon Ramsay's Wolfgang Puck. You, you never know. know. It's a good deal. You guys, make sure you keep it right here. We got music coming up after the break from Ariana Grande right here on AF and the Eagle where we're serving America's Best. Hey, Rick, what you doing? Hey, Bill, I'm just trying to figure out how to get some legal advice. Oh, don't fret, Rick. Stuttgart Citizen has you covered with Ask a Jag. Really? Just go to StuttgartCitizen.com and your questions will be answered. Thanks. Now, what question should I ask? That's StuttgartCitizen.com. All right, WL10, Last Ones Radio. We're back, and right now I have on the phone one of my closest, nearest, and dearest friends, a young lady that introduced me to the music industry, Produced our one and only single, last one single, just to be famous on Sony Immortal. She is a producer, singer, songwriter, engineer. Her 1997 single, So Good, from the Best of Both Worlds album, was featured on the movie soundtrack from Hoodlum. That's right, I'm talking to none other than my homegirl, Davina. What's going on with you? So, what's going on, Luke? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing, man. I'm chilling, you know. What's up with you? How you been? Oh, man, I've been um, just doing what I got to do in the music industry, you know, keeping abreast of um, just creativity. I, I dig know, it. That's all it's about for me. All right, all right, cool. So where are you right now? Like, I, I, I'm never able to keep up with Davina. Every time I talk to her, she's either in a different country, a different state, city. You're always on the go. Where are you at right now? Well, uh, right now I'm in Brooklyn. Okay. You know, hanging out with the Brooklynites. And um, just loving what I'm doing over here. It's just so many creative people. And we're deciding to come together as a, a unit and just help each other um, together. So we've coming up with this social engine, you know, like a Facebook type of thing, but where we're not sitting there having rumors with each other and fights and things. And we're just actually literally exchanging our music and our, you know, if it's not music, it's film. If it's not film, it's a DJ. If it's not a DJ, it's somebody that's uh, twirling fire or that know how to put beads and stuff together. Everything that's creative, to, to me, we should have a um, sort of job type situation where we can actually bank on knowing that we can always get something from there. And this guy happens to be a multimillionaire, so he... He doesn't like like uh, Zuckerberg and all those other people, so he's like, hey, you know what? I'm going to spend every dime I have on doing this. And I appreciate him because we're going to take it from here and just bring all of our creativity and make it happen. So, you know? And this, this comes something that can happen all over the world. We've got people from Australia, Sweden, different spots, and they're everybody's coming together, you know? Okay. So is this more yeah. more or less like a um a social media network or or is it a forum of what what type of um it, it, Well, we we call it an artist community is what we call it. Okay. It's um it's the artist community and a social campaign. You know, the campaign is like we could actually join together and just call you like you calling me now and we're actually being able to work. Right. No matter if you're over in Germany, you're I'm or I'm in Brooklyn or China right now, but you know, <laughs> right? But exactly. if something music came from it, like if we film something and something happens from it, then we'll be making money together. Right. So that's Cutting what I'm out the middleman. Kind of okay. Strong, uplifting to us. So, you know? so um, if there are artists out there or filmmakers or producers, as you said, that want to be a part of this, uh, what do they have to do to go about uh, getting the information or joining? Oh, uh, yeah, well, right now you can go to uh, vbscreative.com and sign up uh, with the email. Right now we're in beta testing. Okay. So, but okay. you're able to put up videos and, and uh, profile of yourself and different things like that. You'll see you know what we got going on 
Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to sign up for that and put my little two cents in, you know, be a part of something. I know. You know, got to do that. So, do you yeah, have... I definitely want you to know. That. Well, you know, I got I to gotta do me, you know. So, <laughs> uh, do you have another album coming? We have... I haven't... I know I personally haven't heard nothing from Davina in a minute. I know I may be sleeping because I know you're always doing something. But do you yeah. have another album coming out? Yeah, well, now, when you say in a minute, like, the, my last exchange has been, what, maybe about seven years from now. Okay. Uh, ago. Oh. Uh, not from now. But um, <laughs> now I'm almost finished cultivating um, the third album. Okay. Um, which is Return to Soul, Volume 2. Right. It, uh, it's featuring uh, the life of Davina Marie. I so, love it. <laughs> I love it. And that's me. And that's going to come along with uh, animation. So I'm really working hard on that kind of thing because it's, it's pretty expensive. You said it's coming you know? with animation? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that album is going to be an animation. So Wow. It's it, it taken me a lot to actually, you know, cultivate the characters, uh, put it in line with what happened with me and what's going to happen with me. And I, that that's is, what my album was as well. That is next level right there. I, ain't, I don't think I've heard anybody even mention anything like that. I, I like that. That's what's up. So, mm-hmm. are you, you know, you know about me on that one. Ooh. Yeah, all day, oh. all day. So, are you working with any <laughs> other artists? Are you have any other features on your on your um, new album that's coming out? Oh, uh, absolutely. Just all you? And, uh, no, 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 not all me. And that's what. Um, personally, from I think the biggest thing that I didn't do the last time was just you know uh, bring a bunch of bunch of folks with me. That, you know what I mean? Right. That, as I should. But you know sometimes you just try to cultivate uh, what you know first and, right. and get all of that done. You so got to you lay a I, foundation exactly. Right. I lay my foundation. I know I can do that. I know that I've done it. So now I go now and empower everybody around me, you know, that's that's willing and creative. So, okay. I mean, oh man, I, I met some folks, man. I got this one artist, her name is Smokahannis. She's a Tahino Indian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, man, bad with her, bad with her. I'm doing like crazy beats with her, like her first single is called Chronic, you know, and I'm singing on it, you know. Okay. Got that, uh, well, which would be different from because you know me, I would never even sing about certain things. But right, right. Now I'm like, I don't know, I'm yeah, because we tried to get you, we tried to get you to <laughs> sing some some hooks like that on other. You nah, nah, nah. see, it's all good though. I'm, hey, I am mad at you. It's progression. It's evolution. You know what I'm saying? It's growth, and that's good. I'm proud of you. Yeah, change, yeah. man. Yeah, that's what has to happen. You got to change. Got to grow. Be open. You know, don't go crazy. You know, you wouldn't want it if I was. You know, damaged myself. I was completely on a downward spiral. Nobody wants that. So if, it, if my change is uplifting me, then what it is? Right. You know. That's that's all well and good. And again, I'm happy for you, man. I'm I'm glad to see that you're still moving forward with you know with your creativity and your talents. It's a blessing for us to you know for you for you to be able to provide things for us to listen to. So I'm glad you're still doing it. Yeah, absolutely. I hooked up with a, a, a friend of mine over there in Germany too, where um, we decided to just send each other beats and work on it collectively. You know, but he's over there, I'm here, and then, you know, I put it out, and we see how it goes from here. He puts it out there. We just trying to interchange with each other anyway, you know? Right. Not uh, waiting on somebody to tell us that we could, uh, <laughs> right. you know, travel and interchange with everybody around, you know? So, and that's working out pretty good. He's, uh, uh, I think his project, he's, he has a mental, but he's uh, Turkish, but he lives there. Okay. And uh, it's a big, pretty big team there and stuff. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's good. Like, I can't believe it. We're going to interchange everything. Now. That's what's up. World so, music. That's what I'm calling it. You know? So, <laughs> you know, you got to send me some music. You got to send me some MP3s so I can play it on, on the station on the last one's radio. You got to send me some material. I, 
You must send me the link to send you, and you'll get it. Okay. No problem. I'll do that as soon as we, well, not as soon as we get off, but when this is over, I'm going to send you the info so you can send me some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Done. Awesome. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man. It's, Go ahead. I'm my, sorry. My new project, like I got a, um, the song that I did with the um, gentleman there, uh, it's called Love Stay. And that's just a real powerful song. You know, it's just like, it, you know, I know people talk about that. I talk about love a lot, but, you know, with that, you wouldn't have nothing without right. it. I mean, everybody got something to love, too. Absolutely. So that's why it's so powerful for me. So, you know, I was like, all I know is I'm writing a song is Love Stays. <laughs> you can talk stays. about whatever. Go through whatever, but love stays. So, yes. When all yeah, else fails, love happens. prevails. Exactly. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, do you got a you got a copy of uh you mentioned the uh, the immortal project. Yeah, that's so you got that a copy last... of them? You playing that on the radio? I, of course, of course. You know I I'm gonna play the only joint <laughs> we did, of course. You know that. Just to be famous. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <yeah. laughs> Those were yeah. the days, right? Man. Yeah, yeah. What, did you ever did you ever tell the people what the what what the see to me what you you should do now is do the the other song the way it was gonna first be. What, what other song was that? Instead of uh, just to be famous, just to be famous, be playing in my head. Instead of that one, uh -huh. the very first one we did it all just to be famous. Do I that one, put that out again. I don't and, have and that. Now you're good. I I never had that one. I think you guys did that before I got out there though. Wow. Yeah, I don't I don't even think I was doing that. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> I wish I had the whatever happened to that one song that was supposedly on that movie soundtrack that me, Grim and uh and How Shoes did. Oh, oh, I know which track you're talking about. Yeah, whatever um, what movie? What It had a, like a slower vibe, right? Yeah. We never heard yeah, nothing about Yeah, I kept looking that. at you, looking at me. Something, something like, like this. I can't remember. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I got a copy of that beat. But I don't have um, I don't have any of this stuff. Yeah, Sandy hit me down, man. Wow. Took, I'm lucky to have equipment and clothes. And some clothes, rather. <laughs> All right. Let's stop. <laughs> Putting nothing personal out there, but yeah. <laughs> Word, <laughs> it's all good, man. It's it's out there. Eventually, it'll come back full circle. So, no worries, yeah. man. I'd like to thank you for the time, taking the time out to do the interview with me over the phone on Last One's Radio. It's nothing but family. I really yeah. appreciate the love, you know, because I know you're busy. You always got stuff going, and you took the time out. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh man, thank you, man. I appreciate you. I. First of all, uh, a lot of people don't shout me out when they know that I've done what I've done, you know? And I appreciate you for shouting me out for that. Of you course. I mean, of course. I mean me, as I said in the beginning, you were the one to introduce me to a whole nother level and another world. You know, before that, we was just running around the streets of Detroit battling, you know? We was at St. Andrews <laughs> in the hip hop shop just grimy on the street. But you took us to a whole nother level, you know? you took us out to California, you know, we going to uh, big record company parties. I'm seeing people that I've only dreamed of seeing and, you know, being in situations and doing things yeah. that I could only dream of, which gave me the confidence and courage to even take things this far, to even be in a whole nother country trying to do something. So I, if I never right. said it before, if I never said it before, thank you. And I appreciate it, you know, cause you, oh. you taught me a lot and showed Beautiful. me a lot and I appreciate it. No doubt. Awesome, man. Yeah. That's totally nice, man. No doubt. No yeah, doubt. it's real. It is. It, it's it real, is. It's, it's, it's you know? really real. So, word. Hey, you know, I got one project out right now um, that I did with a company from Germany called Ornaments. It's uh, Get By Me. It's uh, one of my dance releases. Um, I did that with uh, Carlos Menz and, um, and oh, Dez Andreas is on there. Really? <laughs> DJ Dez, yeah, my man. Know it. Yeah, Shout out to DJ Dez. They hooked us all up. 
uh, from Germany. Uh-huh. They built this together. Like, I won a Detroit project and put us all together, and they didn't know that we all knew each other anyway. Wow. <laughs> See? It's like funny because, of yeah, isn't that something? That's crazy. So things do come together. Things do come together yeah. all the time. All the time. That's beautiful. Oh, and, that, right. and that's something else that I'm going to have to get a copy of if you got a copy of it. You got to send me all that because I need it. Because, you know, we, okay. we're doing the thing here. So, man, that's what's up. Again, I appreciate the time. I'm not going to hold you up. I'm going to get out of here because I got to keep it moving myself. But, yo, everybody, look out for Davina. What What is the name of the project that you're doing again so people can send in their emails? Return and all? the Soul. Return, Return the soul. soul, Volume 2. Return the Soul, Teach Volume you 2. Okay. Definitely be looking for that, checking for that. And, uh keep doing your thing you got nothing but love coming from us as always and uh, I'm gonna be hitting you back it won't be this long next time alright you all know right. I wanna hear from you always always okay. alright y'all y'all don't much go- love Germany man you know I love those folks over there I'm Swedishing yeah you are gonna have to c- connect me with your connects over here so I can so I can get into some things over here I will. I will. You need to be doing some stuff with, over at uh, Spindle and Clat. And um, you see, yeah, I think of a couple of spots, you know? Yeah, yeah for sure. Put, hook me up with all of it. I need it. Indeed. All right. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all don't go cool. nowhere. This is Last Ones Radio WL10. We're going to come back with some music from Davina. And some more underground raw hip hop like we always do and some classic hip hop. So y'all stay right here. WL10, Last Ones Radio. Yes. Yeah, feel so good. Bring your lie. Yeah.